Hey folks, this is going to be a really short video about creating markdown based presentations in Linux environments. So why would we want to do that? The first benefit is that we don't have to leave the terminal to edit our presentation. Honestly, I hate using the mouse because all I want to do is put some text into a presentation and present it to someone. And I, I really don't need to be outside of a terminal for that. Markdown is a universal format. So as an example, I can put the presentation inside my BIM wiki and present from there. Uh, and you don't need to use any bloated software to do present some text and images, honestly. MARP is the software that I use to do these presentations. It's fully open source, and there's a CLI tool, so I can use it in a terminal. And I'll, later in the video, I'll get into how to use that. And it converts from Markdown into HTML or PDF, or even PowerPoint if necessary. And then we can use present those in those formats. We can present from the HTML or PowerPoint or PDF, and we'll see how that happens, the presentation portion of it. The first part is editing the presentation in Markdown and then conversion. So the converted HTML also has a presentation mode, which is what I'm using to display the slide, where I can, as you'll notice that it's uh, each bullet point is showing up as I press the next key. And one of the ways to install it is to just install it with NPM, but you can also go to their releases page on their GitHub and download from there. So the format is quite simple. It's just Markdown. You have headings and you can have other Markdown stuff. You can bold and tell slides. You do other stuff and you separate the slides with three dashes. So this format here, as you see it, shows up as these two slides, which is pretty cool. Now, one of the benefits of a more GUI based editing approach is the fact that you can uh, see your changes immediately and in if you're editing in markdown and you have to display it like this constant back and forth makes it a bit hard to understand what's happening so in marp you can also use a watch mode which uh, enables watch mode and then so anytime you save changes to the markdown file they're immediately automatically converted which is actually what i'm using to display here so um, I'm in watch mode here where i'm converting this mark.md to mark.html so i'm in this and this is the display of the presentation, right? So if I go back to my marp.md file here, and let's scroll down to where I'm doing watch mode. So let's add another something here. So let's say uh, I edited this while presenting the slide. And I save it. And when I go back here uh, and edit here, and you can see when I press the next button, it will automatically show an update here. So now this slide is automatically updated because it triggered a reconversion because of the watch mode. So that's pretty cool. Um, and it does it for both HTML and PDF files. The benefit of HTML mode is this presentation mode in HTML is because I can do next and previous and these bulleted points show up on demand instead of in a PDF where they all show up automatically. And I'll show you guys what it looks like on PDF mode. So let me full screen this again. Okay, so Zathura, if you want to do it using PDF, um, opening a browser is still pretty ugly. You don't really want to do that. Um, although it triggers a minimal form of the browser page and so, but that's still, uh, not a great idea. So if you want to be fully minimal, you can just use Zathura, which is a PDF viewer, and you can convert it to um, PDF instead of HTML. And you can display the PDF using Zathura Test PDF. Uh, and Zathura also has a presentation mode, which lets you go through the PDF as if it was a presentation, which is nice. And space and shift space go back and forth. So let's take a look at how that works. Let me enable screen key as well. So. Yes, all right, so now you'll notice that I have screen key enabled so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm gonna stop presenting this using HTML. So let's present it using PDF this time. So now with MARP, I am converting my MARP.md into PDF, and then I have the dash P which enables watch mode for MARP. So I can do this, and you'll notice that there's a few things that are happening here. Um, I think it opened the PDF using the default PDF reader. I'm gonna close that, but you'll notice another warning here, which is the fact that it can't really read the image files and put them in the PDF yet because it uses a Chromium based um, solution. So you need to pass in allow local files in order for it to be able to read the image files and put them in the PDF appropriately. So um, let's add that as well. So because I'm using an image inside this. So now um, this image is rendered properly, but I don't want to, I want to display it myself. So I'm gonna do that. So in a new terminal, and I'm gonna put this in a different, uh, I'm gonna put that in a different workspace. So now I can do, can navigate to the directory and I can do Zathura 
um, and this is marp.pdf. Okay, so now I'm using Zisora to display this, which is pretty nice and minimal, and I'm gonna hit F5 to enter presentation mode. So now in presentation mode, I can use space, shift space to go back, and this is a pretty nice way to present um, the rest of the slides here. So you'll notice it's mostly the same thing, except in Chrome, you know, the bulleted list showed up one after the other, uh, and I can still edit this. So if actually slight correction, we should use dash dash watch for watch mode, dash P is preview. All right, so let's happen. What happens when we edit this in the markdown? So I can say I edited this while presenting as PDF using Zathura. Okay, and I save this file, and now when I go back immediately to the Zathura file, you'll notice that it automatically updated. And I can delete this, save, go back, it's gone. Because Zathura is automatically loading the PDF file as it changes, and also in the background, the watch stuff that we've set up is updating this PDF file. So that's pretty nice. And obviously I could put this in a different buffer and move this back to uh, oops, nope, this one I want. Yeah, so obviously I can put this right next to each other so I can just see how it changes as so. Changes, and I save, and it shows up there immediately. Let's open up our presentation mode again, and let's go forward. So we've seen how we can use Zathura to display this, and we can go back with shift and space, space, shift, space to go back. Um, okay, so theming. So you'll notice that uh, this is a really nice um, sort of Grubbox-like theme that I've using, I'm using here. Um, it's fully customizable with HTML and CSS. Not the most intuitive to create themes for, but what you can do is you can go to an existing theme like this Dracula theme, and I just ended up changing the colors in it. I, I mean, you can also change, obviously, the sizing of the headers and all the style points, but, and then once you have it set up like this, you can run it with MARP, uh, and then some markdown file, and then dash dash theme, and then obviously allow local files and watch. So it's pretty nice, and you just have to main change the top colors. Now some final points before I end this video. There are some limitations. You can't split it into columns easily. Like on PowerPoint files, you'll notice that there's like two columns sometimes, and those uh, that's really not supported yet right now. You could probably hack around it with HTML, CSS if you wanted to, but that's not what it's for. Uh, the purpose of this is to do presentations quickly um, without worrying about um, orientation so much. And also it uses Chromium to do the conversion, so you need to pass in the allow local files flag, especially when you're doing conversion into the, the PDF files. That, that's all I have essentially. The purpose is to focus on the content. Um, you can see this MARP file if you're curious, um, what I'm using here in Markdown at codebian.github.io, and please like and subscribe.